You, you pledged uh, during your campaign to uh, keep New York City a sanctuary a city. Are, do you have any concern that that, that policy uh, is, 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 for, is attracting more people to the border, more people to cross the border to make that dangerous no. trip? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, this city has always been a sanctuary city, and we've always managed those who wanted to come to uh, New York City to pursue the American dream. Later. No support on this national crisis, and we're receiving no support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about a lot of the hate, bigotry, and xenophobia coming from the left in their own arguments, not mine's, right? This is their own argument. Uh, because Eric Adams uh, is going viral for a speech that sounds like it would come out the mouth of the governor of a red border state. Like, for example, maybe Greg Abbott would say something like this. Maybe you might hear DeSantis say something like this. But this guy is basically ringing the alarm on how bad the illegal immigration crisis has gotten in New York and how illegals are going to flood all neighborhoods and how bad this is right again this is this stuff that they told us was bigotry right people on the right you know that were complaining about this that were saying all this stuff they said we were bigots right <laughs> that we were hateful we hate brown people okay we hate mexicans okay this is what they're telling us but you have eric adams giving a speech uh saying stuff like this something new yorkers never in my life have i had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Mm. Mm. This issue will destroy New York City. I don't see an ending to it. Again, these are the same people that expected people who lived in red states at the border to just take it, right? Just take it. Just take it. You're a bigot, okay? If you don't want illegals to destroy your state, okay? It's According to Eric Adams, not me, illegals are going to destroy New York City. So what liberals wanted was for illegals to destroy red states, and if you complain about it, they accused you of being a bigot. You're a xenophobe. I want you guys to understand. It's almost as if, again, the best way to red pill a Democrat or liberal or leftist is to give them what they want, right? This is what y'all wanted. You sanctuary city. Eric Adams was all for that when he got elected. Okay, try to give illegals the right to vote and everything. So again, now that you got what you wanted, look at the results. Look at what they're saying now. Destroy New York City. Mm. We're getting ten thousand migrants a month. That's chump change compared to Texas. That's chump change, right? But again, Texas was supposed to suck it up. You're supposed to suck it up. But these people, they want you to feel bad for them. They want you to boo-hoo, whine, and cry for them, right? When they told red states, hey, nah, y'all got to suck it up, bro. You got to deal with it or else you're a bigot. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Now we're getting Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Whoa. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. I thought that was a conspiracy. I thought that was a conspiracy, guys. They told us the idea that not just people from South America and Central America are coming through the border. Uh, not The idea that not just them, but also other countries taking advantage of this, like China, some of these other places, taking advantage of how open the border is. That's a conspiracy. You, you, again, that's xenophobia, right? Again, all of these things that they told us was not true turns out to be true. Turns out illegal immigrants are not a net positive, right? This is what they told. They're net positive. Turns out to me, sounds like to me, in New York City, they look at illegals as a net negative. That all that, that, that they are a strain on the social safety net, right? That they do take up resources. It's amazing. 
It's amazing how they, they tried to tell us how common sense was wrong. Our, our common sense was bigotry. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. It is. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We had a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, I thought they told us illegals don't take up resources. They're not a strain on the social safety net. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what they told us. You're just a bigot. But again, New York City, now it's a $12 billion problem. It would have been cheaper to send them back, right? It would have been cheaper to send them back where they came from. But now it's costing $12 billion. They said, nah, Texas, you're supposed to absorb that. Y'all supposed to absorb all this stuff. Amazing. To me, Texas, Greg Abbott looks like a genius. He looks like an absolute genius. He ain't spending $12 billion. Sending the illegals to New York and Chicago and all these other sanctuary cities. He's he's spending probably a few million and the media criticize him for that. Well, look at his governor spending millions of dollars sending illegals to places where Democrats said that they're welcome. Right. But if you listen to Eric Adams, Greg Abbott is spending millions to save billions. That just sounds like smart investment to me. That sounds like good money management. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable, probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you ask me a question about migrants, tell me what role you played. How many of you organized to stop what they're doing to us? How many of you were part of the movement to say, we're seeing what this mayor is trying to do, and they're destroying New York City. It's going to come to your neighborhoods. All of us are going to be impacted by this. I said it last year when we had 15,000. I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. Damn. Damn. It's all like he hate immigrants, bro. He hate immigrants, bruh. That's what it sounds like to me. This is what it sounds like. Again, imagine a red state governor saying something like this. I mean, this guy is on the verge of basically endorsing replacement theory, right? This, this is what he's getting to, right? He's getting to that point now. That's what it sounds like to me. And we're all in this together, all of us. Staten Island said, send them out to Manhattan. Manhattan is saying, send them out to Queens. Queens is saying, send them out to Brooklyn. No. Is that the game we can play? Open the floor. Boy. Boy. He, boy. Hey, I agree with what he's saying. I agree with what he's saying. Even though he's a Democrat, I agree. <laughs> the dude is right. But the shame here is that, again, this is what they asked for and now they're complaining about it. They smeared everybody who told them, who told Democrats, yo, Having an open border, being soft on illegal immigration is not a good idea. It's not good for the country. They smeared us as bigots, racists. But when the border has now come to their cities, it's come to their doorstep, now all of a sudden these people are hardcore Republicans. They're hardcore conservatives, right, on this issue of illegal immigration. It's amazing how that works, bro. It's amazing. How Democrats react when they get a taste of their own medicine. They can't stand it. It's just so funny to me, man. But again, this is what I'm talking about. It's issues like this. If, if this is if it's that bad in these liberal cities, I if there is not a red wave in 2024, there, something's wrong with this country. Right? Something's wrong with this country. Because the state of the economy. Now you're saying that liberals are like, yo, this border crisis is crazy. Like, this is insane. So you got all these, these, these different factors. Biden's an empty suit. I mean, this, this honestly probably explains why Trump's poll numbers are high, as high as they are, despite the indictments, despite the BS being thrown at them, because people realize just how terrible Democrat policies are. And now even liberals are realizing, hey, Trump was right on a lot of stuff. Hey, hey, I don't like that guy Trump. I don't like what he tweet. But he had the economy right. The border was in a much better situation. Now, 
Now, people are starting to wake up and see the farce that was the left and the Democrats in regards to their counter arguments against being tough on illegal immigration because their counter arguments weren't grounded in any type of facts. They were grounded in emotions. No, see, you don't understand. It's not that illegals take up resources. It's, no, it's, you're racist, right? You're racist. This is why you, you, you don't want illegals to be here, okay? It can't be because you're looking out for the country, right? No, you're racist. And people bought into that hook, line, and sinker. And now they're, they're seeing the actual consequences of illegal immigration when it's in their city. Now they understand. Now they want to build a wall. Now they want to close the border. Again, it's just, it's crazy. But yeah, probably one of the greatest things, effective political uh, tactics that the Republicans have done is send illegals to blue, state, blue cities and blue states. It has really exposed hypocrisy on the left when it comes to this issue. Uh, and I think it will be a major issue in regards to voting in 2024, because I think at this point, a lot of it, it's going to be damaging for Democrats to run on their current border policy. Right. They're going to have to take a more conservative stance on the border moving uh, forward. Uh, and we will see how that plays out politically. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.